as you guys can probably tell, I am super sick. I have tonsillitis, so I shouldn't even be talking right now, but I wanted to make this video for you guys because um, it's Friday and my uploading is Monday and Friday, so I didn't want to let you guys down. Um, but I found this video from about a month ago when one of my friends, Mayana, I'll link her channel down below, when she had her masquerade ball, and so this is the makeup look I did for it. Um, I was going to do something for Valentine's Day, but I'm just not feeling very well, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, subscribe, because in a couple of days on Monday, I'm going to be announcing my giveaway winner, winner, so check that out as well, and you guys can use this look for Valentine's Day if you want to, but this is for a masquerade ball. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's just get started. Alright, so first I'm just going to be taking my NYX concealer in 02, it's almost the lightest shade, and I'm just going to be putting this under my eyes. concealer from LA Girl um, and this is in the shade creamy beige and it's a little bit dark for me but I can normally blend it through ooh, with um, like powder so we're just gonna put this on any blemishes or imperfections <laughs> Now that it is all blended in mostly, um, there's a big difference between my face and my neck and a little bit of my cheeks, so I'm just going to be taking this and dotting it on my cheeks to add that coverage and then a little bit down my neck and do not forget to blend this because that has happened before it was bad. And Waking up to ash and dust, I wipe my brow and I sweat my rust, breathing in taking a um, powder. I don't actually remember which powder this is because I just threw it in a Bare Minerals container, but it's just because it broke. So I'm just going to be taking some from the lid and patting it off and taking that on my forehead. And the fallout on this is crazy, so just be careful with that. And this also... Hello, neighbors. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows with my NYX Control Freak. I don't know if you can see it or not. There it is. So my NYX Control Freak and I'm just going to be shaping my eyebrows as normal. I'm just going to be taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion and putting just a tad on each eye, if it would come out. I'm so excited for that new thing to come in. Anyway, I'm just going to be taking Liar from the Naked 3 palette and putting that all over my lid. Alright, so now I just have both of my eyes done, but I'm taking a couple more light shades and just dusting it over my eyes to create a more light look since I don't really want it to be too dark. And hello, neighbors, again. Uh, hey. Okay. 
Now I'm just going to be taking, you should take a detail brush, but I'm just going to be taking my concealer brush and taking liar and bringing it on my waterline. So, so far, this is what the makeup look is looking like. Just super simple and nude because I don't want to go too crazy. And now I'm just taking my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. I'm just going to be taking it and doing a super thin line. Now that the eyeliner is done, earlier today I went and picked up some fake eyelashes from e.l.f., just the dollar ones, and I've never done fake eyelashes before, so we're going to see how this works. So like I said, I just have these, and I'm going to pull them out of the package, get the glue out and ready. Did not need directions, so I had to YouTube this, um, but now I'm just going to, guess, do it. All right, that was a stressful moment, but now I'm going to take my mascara, which is Maybelline's The Mega Plush Volume Express. And I'm going to cut this on my eyes, so let's see how this works. I'm just going to give you guys um, a comparison. I have done nothing to this eye and a lot to this eye, so... Now on to the next one. Okay, so in the video I watched, I remember that she said to let it get dark, to get the glue, whew, let the glue get tacky for about 20 seconds, so that's what I'm doing right now. 